as far as status of inventories and, and things is, you know, what's in process, what's an issue reserved, best report for that that we have in the system that most of our customers use is our MRP report. And the reason I like to look at this is because this gives you a holistic view across the entire thing and it also gives you some planning views around what I should be doing for purchasing or production purposes. So we'll use this pre-filter. We're going to filter down to a category. We're going to, we can filter down, you know, by date range and pull in other information. But really, what this is allowing me to do is see the different statuses of inventory, such as on hand, reserved, or you know, QC statuses, purchase materials, things in production, and then our demands against those those different statuses. Down the left-hand side are going to be the items that we're planning for, and then across the top, the top here, the different buckets of information or different statuses of the inventory. So the MRP report is also giving us some suggestions. It's telling us what we should be doing. Should we be purchasing materials? Should we be producing materials? So we're going to look at our on-hand materials. So what's currently on hand? What's been hard allocated or reserved to a specific sales order? What's been hard allocated into production, raw material or intermediate product? This is also known as a WIP status in inventory. So anything that's in our issued status. We have our QC hold status. So QC hold is a status that says we have product that we believe is good. Um, it's not that we found it's bad. It's not quarantined. It's in a QC hold. So we're going to have visibility to that within here as well. You have our open purchases, open jobs, transfers that are happening. So we can handle intercompany transfers, one entity to another, one facility to another it can all be visible. And what this also is presenting to us is any demands. So we have demands of sales, forecasts, and jobs. This is a total net. We can look at mins and maxes, which gives us our suggestions here. The drill down is nice here as well. I can drill into the detail. So this says I have 150 on order. Let's find out where the order is. Drill right into the purchase order. I could say, show me where this on-hand material is. I have cookie dough on order or on, on hand. Where is it at? Drill down, tells me the specific location. So we get a lot of detail from this particular report. 